So Doncic, a fan is heckling him, and he looks to see who it is, and it's Kobe Bryant. I like that he showed love. Forget about the game. Let me stop and appreciate it. Now has eight points in this one on a three for nine. Chauvin's really lighting it up. And Price is three for four. Other than that, I don't think anybody's at 50%. Whoa! From the other county, and Kobe slaps him on the behind and gives him a smile and says, That's good shoot, kid. Kobe all over Steph. Steph said, Wait a minute here. No, take this. He just oh, steps back and drains one. Kobe looks at him and says, On top. We're halfway through this first quarter, and again, holding his side was A.D. By the way, LeBron had a chance to go over and say hello to Kobe, who is sitting in the front row right at midcourt. There's Mr. Bryant. It's his daughter, Gianna, that's sitting beside him. He got it to one of the better ones. Eight seconds, Dirk against Randall. Let's get out of here. Dirk with the shot, and with 2.1, that's how far we are. He scored five points in the first three quarters, eight in the fourth quarter. Screen picked up by Jordan and Stackhouse. Back to Kobe, runs over Michael Jordan. That's going to be a charging foul, and Kobe just picked up his fourth personal foul. And Kobe is kind of mocking, having some good fun with MJ. Uh, four fouls on Kobe, four fouls on Shaq. 20-point lead, you say, ah, no big deal. Seeing stranger things happen in an NBA game. You better make sure you keep your focus for the entire 48 minutes. Kareem Rush will be checking in for Kobe. That'll be Kobe's first rest, isn't it, of the ball game. First time he's been out, except for uh, halftime. And Bryant is putting on a show. It's the Lakers 87, the Wizards 69. You're watching the world champion Lakers on Fox Sports Net. I do think it'll be really interesting when LeBron James passes Kobe Bryant this year. If it happens at home. And I is just before the start of the fourth quarter. I love that. You know, old school coaches would be like, get your head. Stops tonight in Charlotte. I just want to congratulate you on unbelievable career. I think uh, when I look back and the first time we actually played against each other in the competitive drive that I saw within your eyes, even though the knowledge wasn't quite there yet, um, it was very invigorating. And I'm very happy to, to, uh, to leave you this message to say how much you know, we are very proud of what you've accomplished over the years. Uh, I think most people don't realize you were drafted by Charlotte Hornets, uh, so that you know connects us with you. Um, I've always been, you know, like a big brother, and you like a little brother. We communicate all the time. I just want to say congratulations. Your your next step and your next career is going to be something that I'm pretty sure you're going to have to figure out. You know, from the competitive standpoint, I'm pretty sure you're just like me. Uh, uh, you're going to have to find other ways to utilize that competitive drive. But I want to congratulate you and Vanessa and the girls. Uh, you've been a big help to the game of basketball. You helped the NBA. You, uh, you helped promote it. Uh, I'm pretty sure you got a lot of fans all over the world. Uh, I am a big fan. I still love watching you play. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very uh, happy for you and what you have accomplished within the game. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you do next. If you ever need me, you know my number. Let's stay in touch. I wish you the best. And have a great game tonight. Not too good of a game. Uh, but I want you to stay healthy. And as I said a couple weeks ago, it's your last year. Just have fun. Take it a day at a time, enjoy it, and look forward to seeing what you do after this. Take care. Good luck. And now, a 6'6 guard from Lure Marion High School in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, a 17-time 